Welcome to the 50th episode of the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. I'm Meg Morrison. And I'm Mark Kennedy. 50 episodes. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Too bad only 17 of them count because I wasn't here for the other ones. <laughs> for number 50, we welcome a new course to the Pro-Am Golf Show, the Glendale Golf and Country Club. This 18-hole private golf course is nestled on the west end of Edmonton. It was established in 1960 and has since been one of the premier golf course layouts in Western Canada. The Glendale is known as the player's course as it will test your golf game. It's inevitable that you will require almost every shot in your bag to post a good score. Our guest today played nine seasons in the NHL. Those nine seasons posted many ups and downs prior to his eventual banishment from the league in 2003. He has since turned things around and is now using his story to help others. From the LA Kings organization, Brent Myers. Brent, welcome to the 50th episode of the Pro-Am Golf Show. Meg and I are extremely excited to have you. Thank you. Brent, you have such an incredible story. I just want you to touch on it a little bit now and uh, what happened then, what you're doing now, and uh, then we'll get hitting some golf shots. Sure, so it's, it, I think it started pretty much back when I was playing junior hockey. Um, struggled with the alcohol. And then the drugs came into play when I played for uh, the Flyers when I was 24. And we'll fast forward through most of the NHL career, but I ended up having five suspensions from the league. The last one was a lifetime ban. And then um, I ended up going back to school when I got out of hockey, uh, studied uh, substance abuse and behavioral health in Calgary. Um, and I built a proposal for initially for the league uh, but then once uh, our organization had some issues uh, with a couple guys, then Dean Lombardi called me and uh, brought me in uh, to build a program uh, for our organization. Brent, you have such an inspiring story, and we're going to dive into it a little bit later on, but first it's time to test your golf game, okay? Okay. We're going to head out to number seven here at the Glendale and meet up with head golf professional Greg McGarry. He'll start us off with a pro tip, which is brought to you by Energy Crane, specializing in hoisting, rigging, and transportation services. Pretty much 70% of all the flaws in the golf swing actually occur when we set up and if we set up improperly it can cause a lot of problems. So today I'm going to show you how to set up properly, do the proper pre-shot routine. First thing we're going to do is get behind our ball. I've chosen my target. It's not necessarily always the flag. On this par 3 I'm going to aim a little bit left of the flag into the middle of the green. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring my target a lot closer to the ball and pick what's called an intermediate target. On this par 3, we've got a nice, easy intermediate target. It's a divot that's just in front of my ball. So I'm going to line up my club face with the divot or my intermediate target, and that's going to begin the, the pre-shot routine. So from here, I'm behind the ball. I'm now going to start my address, walk up to the ball, and set my club in to my intermediate target, making sure my club face is square to that. Okay, I then get my grip on my club, and then I walk in with my stance, and I go through a little checklist. So first thing, again, the importance of the club face square to the target. Okay, my shaft is centered, and my butt end of my club is up through the middle of my body. I now get comfortable with my stance, and I just check that my alignment is correct, by trying to see a 90 degree angle between my shaft and my foot line. From here, I just work with my posture to make sure I'm nice and relaxed, my knees are bent slightly, okay? And you can even take a deep breath from here, and now we're ready to go. Wow. Oh, that's good Wait. shot. That that's really not what good. ours are gonna look like. <laughs> oh yeah. Greg, you picked like the hardest hole to play today as well. Nice shot. Are you 6'4", Brent? Uh, 6'3 six, six, three and 3 quarters. <laughs> Every year I go down a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice that was swing. Well struck. I don't know if that's going to land, is it? Very nice. Sit. Oh. Yeah, just fringe. White belt. You got to be good to wear a white belt. Oh, good call. Calls me out. At least it matches his shoes. That's the way to wear it. Doesn't match his tattoo, though. <laughs> oh, look at this. Nice. Both sides covered. Could get a little kick. Didn't see Just it. Just a little bit short. OK, I saw Greg flip his, oh, I'm not very good at flipping the club. That's your new pre-shot routine? Yeah, I'll work on it. Got my target. A little bit of different in distance here between you yeah. and us three, hey? What do you mean? Always an advantage, eh, Meg? Yeah. 
You gotta find them where you can. Nice shot. Nice shot. Very nice. On. Oh. Below the hole. Below before. the hole. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, well, what we're gonna do is take a quick break. We're gonna come back and finish out the rest of the first hole here on the Pro Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH. A fitness boutique where you focus on you. Yes, you can. Keep going here. You guys got this. No matter what age or fitness level, we offer modification to suit each client's needs. You can do it. Hang on to it. You're almost through it. Keep breathing. Your time, your space, your studio. Tighten, lengthen, strengthen, unwind. You look beautiful. Hang on. Three, two, and release. Sculpt Fit, Spruce Grove. Stop living in pain. It doesn't have to be a part of your life anymore. Remedial Wellness, located at the Derrick Golf and Winter Club, created the most advanced shockwave therapy protocols in Canada. Shockwaves help remove scar tissue and stimulate new blood vessel growth with virtually no side effects. It is a scientifically proven treatment for muscle and joint injuries, symptoms of arthritis, and even erectile dysfunction. An average of three to five short, claimable treatments requiring no downtime make this an excellent option for healing. Visit www.remedialwellness.com today and leave your pain in the past. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We're here this morning at the Glendale Golf and Country Club with Player Assistance Director for the Los Angeles Kings, Brant Myers. That's a mouthful. It sure is. <laughs> Thanks. And not only that, but he's a player on the course as well. We've seen one swing of yours. Yeah. That was pretty good. Thank you, I appreciate it. Mark still isn't on the green, so we're gonna let him go first. This is the rest of the first hole. What's your plan of attack on this one? You have a lot of fringe, not a lot of green. I think I'd be happy if I just get it on the green. Pass the hole. Dollar American says you don't. A dollar American? <laughs> oh, that's big money. I think he's got Five it on bucks Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I owe you a buck. U.S. Sit. Oh. oh. Nice Great shot. shot. Thanks. Oh, that was lucky. That is a short putter for such a tall man. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make them any taller, Meg. It's like my hockey sticks. <laughs> this is quite the putt. Oh, pretty no, good. No, it's not. Is it going to roll? Oh, that didn't roll as no. far as I thought. A little meat left on a that A little hole. meat, yeah. yeah. You think you'd be getting good at this after 50 episodes? You it might take her 50 tries, no? Oh, oh nice. She gave it a go. <laughs> she did, too. We'll give you that one. Yeah. Okay. Nice putt. So I'm in for three. You guys have to match. That's nice right. Par. That's yeah. right. For a par to have Meg. Wow, that nice. was an awesome oh, putt. Two awesome. tie, all tie, Thanks, bud. Guys. Made it. Thanks, guys. Good job. Nice Thank you. Par. Thanks. Okay, so on that one, the first hole is a push. Let's go meet up with the GM here and talk about this beautiful golf course. We're here on a beautiful morning at the Glendale Golf and Country Club with General Manager Craig Rusnak. Craig, thanks for having us. No trouble at all. What makes the Glendale such a special place? Glendale was uh, established in 1961 by a group of uh, members that uh, weren't welcome at other golf courses, so they decided to build their own, found a beautiful piece of property out here on the northwest part of Edmonton. Actually used to be on the outskirts of Edmonton, and now we are inside of Edmonton. And since that day, the volunteer spirit has always uh, been prevalent. The members here are always pitching in for little jobs, big jobs that we do. And uh, always the uh, effort was to make this place just one of the best golf courses in Western Canada. And I think you guys have succeeded at that. It looks really good. Now, on a personal note, you've been at the Glendale for a long time. Yeah, I've been here, uh, it'll be 20 years this October. Been a wonderful ride, been a great fit for me. As I said earlier, the members here are uh, excellent people. They uh, love to volunteer, love to get involved, and uh, shows every time we host a major event. We've had the PGA Tour McKenzie equivalent for five, five visits. Uh, we've had the Canadian Amateur Championships, the Alberta Amateur Championships. You name any championship, the Glendale's probably right hosted it, yeah. Well, the Glendale's lucky to have you, and we're lucky to be here for our 50th episode. And we'll be right back with the start of the second hole. The Black Dirt Company is your first and only stop for all landscaping supplies in the Edmonton area. 
Not only do we carry the best product for clay, sand, topsoil and compost, but we also have exceptional customer service ensuring you get what you need when you need it. Not sure what you need? Let our staff help you choose the right products. The Black Dirt Company specializes in all landscaping materials in bulk as well as precast products. Create your backyard oasis with the Black Dirt Company. You pick up or we deliver. Visit us in store or online at blackdirtcompany.com. A fitness boutique where you focus on you. Yes, you can. Keep going here. You guys got this. No matter what age or fitness level, we offer modification to suit each client's needs. You can do it. Hang on to it. You're almost through it. Keep breathing. Your time, your space, your studio. Tighten, lengthen, strengthen, unwind. You look beautiful. Hang on. Three, two, and release. Sculpt Fit, Spruce Grove. Welcome back to the 50th episode of the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We're here today at the Glendale Golf and Country Club with former NHLer Brant Myers. Great putt on that last hole. Thank you very much. That was really nice. Okay, so that was a tie. It's on to the second hole here, and we're going to start it off with a long drive competition, something that I feel like you're going to excel at. This is Long Drive brought to you by Ken Morrison of Remax Excellence, your local realtors. All right, do we flick it again or no? Yep. It worked for you last time. It worked the first time. And it looks good. All right. Oh, you crushed that. Oh, that was a little hard. better. Boom. There we go. Gotta hope that's off the fairway. Follow that up. Mark's gonna swing harder now just because you crushed that last one. Do you think so? I <laughs> feel like I have to. Oh, oh yeah. Go, go, <laughs> go. Beauty. Is that good? I think it's great. Meg has been on fire this season. Yeah, there's <laughs> no pressure on this hole. Don't jinx me. See if she can keep it going. She did. Nice shot. Where does this come from? Jeez. Well, you guys just bombed yours, so I had to try to hit mine harder. Wow. <laughs> nice drive. The rest of the second hole brought to you by ATB Financial. Spend less on fees and more on things you care about. So, Brent, your playing career had some ups and downs, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, yeah. Can you take us through those nine seasons a little bit? Sure. Um, I think when I, you know, when you start out, you're, I guess, 20 years old, 21 years old in the league, and they don't really give you a manual at that age, um, knowing how to handle success, knowing how to handle the money, the pressures of the game. Um, in my position, I was, I was a fighter. So at 20 years old, fighting guys that are, you know, 33, 34 years old, it was, it was obviously stressful. Um, so it was sort of a, it was a tough transition for me, but once I got into San Jose, um, I ended up, that was the first kick at sobriety for me. Um, I came to camp, I was probably, I would say 15 pounds lighter than I was the year before. Um, I felt great mentally, physically, um, and I had a, probably two of my best years uh, in San Jose. Um, and then sort of stumbled along the way from then on, but that's sort of how it started. Your, your addiction began in junior, or is it something that happened more so when you got into the <laughs> NHL? You know, I would say that the, the drinking started be, to become heavy at about 16 or 17. Um, when I was in Lethbridge, you could drink at the bar at 18. Um, so we were getting in the bar at 17, 16 years old. And then when you start making some money in the NHL, now you can afford um, sort of the more expensive drugs. Uh, and so money wasn't an, an issue at that point. And then once you try, when I tried cocaine for the first time, until I got sober at 33, it, it, it was a real, real struggle for me. Now, when you were struggling during your career, was there, um, did the league try to help you? Oh yeah, no, they, um, they put me in, so they paid for four treatment centers from, from Philadelphia on. I was in Los Angeles for actually all four of them. And then the last time, um, they called me a year and a half after I retired when um, my last night of drinking got pretty, pretty nasty. And they just said, are you done? And I said, yes, I'm finally done. And they said, well, 
if you can get on a plane tomorrow, we'll pay for you to go to treatment. And at that time, I was a little skeptical because I was having a daughter uh, being born in four days. And uh, I asked, how long am I going to be gone for? And they said, well, don't worry about that. Um, you just get on a plane and get down there. So I did, and I got into treatment. Um, my daughter was born four days later, and I spent eight months there. Um, so I really didn't get to see her face physically until she was eight months old. Um, but looking back at it now, we have, me and her have the coolest bond together. And whenever she celebrates a birthday for uh, growing another year older, we celebrate it together. So it's, so it's great, yeah. That's really cool. Very cool. All right, here we go. Ooh, safe shot. Nice little poke out there. Get on a tree. Always about being safe. I lost it. All right. I think I'll be all right, yeah. Is it good? Yeah. We're blocked out by a tree here. You're not going for this one either, I'm hey? Not, I'm not getting there in two. No. I'm doing the brant. Good. Hitting a safe <laughs> one. Live to play another shot. Oh, beauty. Nice shot. Jeez. In my younger days, I would have gone for it. Great shot. Though. Wise now. Yeah, you're definitely not young anymore. <laughs> the only one going for it in two. Impress us all here, Meg. Get it close. I'd like to. I guess I get long drive, hey? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> nice shot. There you go. Serious? Beauty. Get up there. Go. Did that make it up? Go. Oh, it's just short. Just short, short though. I thought Great it was going to be good. Advantage, Meg. I got to put this close just to keep up with Meg. Yeah, well, you're in a good spot. We're all going to be on in three, hopefully. Uh oh. Oh. Bin to win. Get Sit down. down. Get down. Great line. Actually, you know what? That's not too bad. Turned out pretty good. All right, guys. Tough shot. Nice and easy. Yeah. Just like putting it in the top corner, right, Meg? Yeah, <laughs> nice and easy, just like that. <laughs> oh, nice hands. Sit. It's right on it. Oh, oh. bit of That's a hop. A tough that should pin work. placement today. That nice shot. Work. Nice swing. You yeah. do have hands. Goal score. <laughs> oh, here we go. Show us those short game skills. That's the short game. Get it up. There you go. Come down. Nice roll. Oh, I think I started it too high up. No, Keep you're good. Keep going. Wow. All right. Most of wow. <laughs> nice shot. Thanks. Neither one of us expected that. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> Call a guarantee on this. <gasps> he did. <laughs> I he did. didn't do it. <laughs> I might call a guarantee on this one. The word is might. <laughs> <gasps> oh. <laughs> Are you serious? I guaranteed it, didn't I? Oh, man. I don't know what to say. I guaranteed that. I was ready to make fun of you when you missed it. That was game four. So, uh, yeah, birdies to push, I guess. Wow. Your turn. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to guarantee it. Brand just, I Mark messier over there. <laughs> I said, I, yeah, well, got to throw them out at least once today. One guarantee. These greens are in awesome shape, but because of that, this is, might be a little slick. Yeah. Good Get weight. There. Good Get weight. There. No. There. Good weight. It's in. <gasps> oh. Normally I would take that. You don't leave a birdie putt short, oh. Kennedy. Sorry, Meg. Let me win this one, Meg. <laughs> I'm way too competitive for that brand. She doesn't let people win. Never. No, not on the short oh, side. Oh, what a rookie move. What do you know, oh, hey? Brand with the win. The guarantee came through. That was a really good win. Nice win Thank with you. a birdie. OK, Thank well, you. we still have the third hole to play. Brant has won up. Before we play that third hole, let's take a look at another version of Meg versus Mark. It's brought to you by Cantork. Torque it easy. The Stony Plain Golf Course is our host, and today we are doing the draw challenge. This one sets up for me perfectly. We yeah, just have to you make hit it behind. A draw. The... Yeah, unintentionally. Yeah. Yeah. So just swing. Just swing normally, and you probably win. Okay, I'll go first. This one plays into you. Yeah. There it is. Perfect draw. Couple feet. I knew I was asking for trouble with this one. Yeah, that's my draw. Shot. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Good luck. How do you draw? 
I, I hear that if you say it more, <laughs> the bull will listen. Draw. Draw. Hook. <laughs> See, it's the right idea. I just had to aim further right. Yeah. Oh, that's a mag win. Gantork is the solution to your bolting problems. With the largest inventory of bolting products in Canada, we have what you need to work smarter, not harder. Cantork will get you back to work faster with quick turnarounds on repairs and service. Rent it, buy it, whatever the job needs. Founded and headquartered in Edmonton and made by people who care. Visit us in store or online at cantork.com. Torque it easy with Cantork. Problem solved. Stop living in pain. It doesn't have to be a part of your life anymore. Remedial Wellness, located at the Derrick Golf and Winter Club, created the most advanced shockwave therapy protocols in Canada. Shockwaves help remove scar tissue and stimulate new blood vessel growth with virtually no side effects. It is a scientifically proven treatment for muscle and joint injuries, symptoms of arthritis, and even erectile dysfunction. An average of three to five short, claimable treatments requiring no downtime make this an excellent option for healing. Visit www.remedialwellness.com today and leave your pain in the past. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We're here today at the Glendale Golf and Country Club with Cold Lake's own Brant Myers. Well, Brant has the lead on us after the first two holes. He's one up, it's time to play the third and final hole and it's brought to you by Solar LED and Solar. Grow your wealth, invest in your future. I like this play. The pro here told us that maybe driver wasn't the play. You and I are going for really? it. Really? Mark isn't. But he just had a birdie. He's feeling it. Yeah. I just guaranteed that putt, you guys. <laughs> oh, that's a bomb. Wow. I guess it is a driver hole if you hit it like that. It's a driver hole. I think that's called position A. <laughs> you guys are wrong again. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel stepping up to the tee box with a hybrid? Not very manly. It's about time that you at least get one good shot today. Oh. No? <laughs> You're kind of a tough guy to keep up with so far. <laughs> there you go. Safe shot. Not as far as you, but. No, yeah. you are. Nice poke yes, about 100 you are. yards out. Yep. From the tee box. Excellent shot. Couple good ones out there. This is up to me. You're saving you the best. You can't even chirp you, you've hit it so good today. Saving the best for last. There you go again. Yeah, another nice one. I don't think you're allowed to hit from these tees anymore. Mystery. Well, I feel like I'm right next to your hybrid and I had a driver, so. <laughs> How hard is it to be banned from the league? Like there's a, there's an embarrassment that comes along with that and you have to answer to a lot of people yeah. about that. Well, it's funny that you say that, but the, the minute that I heard that I couldn't play hockey in North America anymore, it was almost like a relief for me and I didn't have to fight anymore. Huh. You know, so it was a, a catch-22 where um, it was whenever I would get injured and say I was out for one or two months and the doctor would say you're not playing, it was the first time I could actually exhale. But yeah, you know what, the embarrassment and, and all that, I just sort of, I let all that stuff go and I focus on, you know, what am I doing today to, to better my life? Um, not necessarily focusing on the past, which the past is part of my future. But um, I try and stay in the moment. How important is it for somebody to be in a role like yours to help all these other players that are going through the same things that you had and I know that you had nobody to talk to when you were going through it? Yeah, I think again, it's a, it's a huge stigma that, that especially as, well, as fighters dealt with that we couldn't show any weakness because we were supposed to be the big tough guys on the ice. Um, but I think now with, um, again, like we talked about, the progression of the, of the prescription medications, the painkillers, um, how strong actually now and how much THC is in marijuana um, compared to even 10 years ago, that um, to educate at a ground level with the younger kids and then junior and then the American League and then the National Hockey League is so critical now to, to have awareness and to have, I think just to, the more support that you can have in any um, industry or area of life that's been a struggle, I think the better. Brent, good on you for everything that you've gone through and everything that you're continuing to do and to help out these players and all the help that you never had. 
it's really an inspiring story. Thank you, appreciate it. I feel like I'm always behind you guys. That's I'll a... give you credit though, that was a nice hybrid shot. That, that was a nice hybrid shot. Oh, nice. No, that's no. long. Sit. Is that too far? Sit. Oh, great shot. Sit. Oh. Pin high. You're good at those leg putts. <sighs> good at three putting them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great opportunity. It's in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, you're gonna, Again. You're going to be judged on this shot alone. Oh, good. There you go. Get down. Come around. Come around. You're good. Oh, pin high. You're pin high. Yeah, nice shot. Good shot. What a drive. You're almost too close after that There's drive. There's no such thing as too close, right? But you're only going to be judged on your last shot. Uh-oh. But you won't get up. Go. It won't go. It won't go. Go. Get up. Does it get in there? It's on. It's on. Can you see No. The and Mark pulled the flag, and I can't even see it. You can do this. There you go. Actually, that doesn't look that bad. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. That's good for you from yeah, there. Yes. Yeah. Again, for you, that's good. Yeah. Is this another guarantee? I, I don't think so. I don't think I need a guarantee for this. Oh. Not the confidence he had no, before. No, not the same. For the win. Is that enough juice or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's too much? Too much juice. The door is open. It is open. Pretty much need to sink this now. Will this be your last shot, Meg? I hope so. Yeah. Turn, turn, oh, turn. Oh, you had a good line on it, though. Crushed it. Good try. Good line. All right, guys. Chance to win the show again. There <laughs> we go. One more time. That looks good. Ooh. Ooh, right on the edge. Good putt, though. That yeah, was really good. OK, uh, you now this is up for us. Yeah, yeah we got to make one of these. That was too close. Kay. I'd rather two putt than three putt. No favors on this one. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> you were feeling like that last putt was three putt territory. Do you still feel the same? I'm surprised you're still talking. Oh, do you want to putt now? I'm trying to focus here. Yes. <laughs> I thought you had the mint. Just a bit outside. A just a bit outside. Just a bit outside. Oh! Oh! Miracle <laughs> with these two. <laughs> oh. See that mental strength? Great right shot. There? So I guess I need to sink this. You got to make that. OK. OK, let me get this straight. If you miss this putt, me and Brant tie. Mm -hmm. If you make this putt, Brandt wins the show. Oh, yeah, I definitely don't want you to be part of a Wait, winning Wait, if she combo. makes it, I win? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> OK, awesome. <laughs> Come on, Meg. Brent there we go. The show. Phew. Phew. That's the first time you've nice. ever won a show for a guest. <laughs> well, nice I'd putt. rather him win than you win. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Nice putt. Thank you. OK, there's other things to be awarded here. It's the shot of the show. And for that, we have to give that one to you, too. Oh, that was an incredible putt on the last hole there. So this is brought to you by Hurley's Meat Distributors, specializing in meat wholesale. Call a guarantee on this. <gasps> he did it. <laughs> I he did. didn't do it. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I guaranteed it, didn't I? <laughs> oh. That was a great shot. <laughs> Thank you very and much. And the guarantee to go with it. Yes, yeah, I love it. That's it right. Awesome. We should start calling our shots. We're not that good. No, we're not. <laughs> Brand, thank you so much for coming on the show today. On behalf of Century Vision Care and Maui Gym Sunglasses. Awesome. In there is a gift card for you to go pick out some shades, OK? Excellent. Thank you very much. And I had an awesome time today. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks to the Glendale as well. Wow, what a beautiful golf course. Thank you for watching. Keep in mind, you can catch us every Saturday right here at 1130 on CTV Edmonton and Calgary. And if you miss any of our episodes, they're always online at proamgolfshow.ca. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at Pro-Am Golf Show. Next week, we are preempted with the Open Championship. We'll be back the week after that. Thanks for watching. Pro-Am vehicles provided by Norton Volkswagen.